I I'll put you down there. What? See, like, what? I'm looking at this and I'm like thinking to myself, self, who the fuck made this tier list? Personally, I'm gonna pretend like that shit didn't happen. <laughs> per hey, I'm a hey. The hound is a broken pr in this universe. Hey, maybe you killed a kid or two. I'm not gonna hold it against you. <laughs> Do I really call it? If I hold, we gonna we gonna revamp this whole tier list. Pretend like I the other videos didn't even happen. Oh my gosh! At this point, like Iris, he every time he talks, he struggles not to choke on Stannis's dick, and I gotta respect that. And you that respectful of women? Like I gotta respect. Oh my gosh, he's S here. I don't talk myself into it. Marge Simpson. Gary, I'm happy you saw me all butt booty ass naked. She said that word for word. Read the subtitles. No, she no, he didn't. You know what's funny? You know what's hilarious? You can just tell. He already rubbing off on her a little bit. Oh, meanwhile, he wanna rub in her. It's crazy, bruh. He's crazy, bruh. <sighs> hear ye, hear ye. Oh yeah, we back. I'm gonna say this right now. We gonna fix it. We gonna fix this right here because let me tell you something. First of all, first of all, first of all, this, okay, so the last tier list I made, it's funny when I was editing it, I don't, I, I place people in places where I'm like, what am I talking about? First of all, we're gonna fix this right here. We're gonna fix this, right? We're not gonna have a bitch tier. That's, it doesn't make sense because we're, we'll just do F minus, whatever. Because it's not fair to have people who are bitches be in bitch tier at the very bottom when they do have like Baelish. I, I still consider like I still call him a bitch, but like he, you know what I'm saying? Like I can't. He, he's definitely moving up some tiers. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know why I put like certain people on this list when I didn't have to, and I'm like, so. Obviously, we have a few issues here. We have people like Carl Tanner. We have people like Oberyn. We have people like Locke. People who died this season. So, what I'm going to do, right? I'm, I'm going to clean this up. I've already removed a, a few people off this list. Oh my god, and I have... I don't have your son, do I? I don't have your son. I don't know if her son's going to be a big deal. Whatever, her son's in the shot. Whatever, whatever. Um... I, I'm still gonna place these people, but then I'm for the next tier list video I make. I'm going to just I, I'll take them out, but I'm gonna place them and then I'm gonna take them out. Like there are people that I'm gonna take out. Like uh, I, I'm never taking out Ned or Robert. I'll say that right now. I, I'm never taking them out, but like I'm gonna take out Talisa. I'm gonna take out Roz. Again, I've already took out, taken out a few people. I'm gonna take out Egret. This is this season is crazy. People were talking about season four is my favorite season. And I didn't get it because I'm like, season three was so good. And to be honest, like halfway through season four, I'm like, it, it's cool. But the best season. Oh man, them last two episodes. Oh my. Let's get let's get right into the placements. Let's get right into the placements. Let's not. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Okay, okay. So we have Tyrion S here. Yeah, yeah, 100% agree with that. 100% agree with that. 100%. He hasn't given me any reason other, except like he. Why are you always bugging? Granted, he did ask for a champion at the trial, which was cool, but it's like you could have just been sent to the wall. But I mean, that would have sucked anyway. So I, I, I can't be. I'm, I'm gonna keep a mask here. I love the character. I love him. I think he is very smart. I think he is very smart. I'll leave him an S tier. I'll leave him an S tier. If we're gonna have an S tier, I'm gonna leave him an S tier. Should I take Rob off the list too? Oh man, this is crazy. Well, I'm gonna figure it out next year. Let's. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out. <sighs> uh, Arya Stark. She's a little monster. Can we all agree on that? <laughs> I, I don't know if I can. I don't know. She kills me, bro. I love the character, though. She is smart. It's like, bro, you really couldn't just kill the hound? You really couldn't? Like, no, you, you just couldn't do that? That kills me. 
No pun intended. I'll move you down to A tier. I'll move you down to A tier. You're in good company right now. The Hound. Ugh. I'm, I'm going to keep him in S tier for this video. I will remove him by the next video, probably. Next tier list video, but for now, I'm going to keep him in S tier. Arya? Or Arya? Uh, Yara? Honestly, I fuck with her. And she really did try to, like, save her brother. And then she gave up when she saw how defeated he was. And I can't blame her on that. And honestly, I... After doing everything you did, and to be able to just call it like, hey, can't do it. We lost people on this failed mission. It, it is what it is. We got to Because he's broken. Theon's so broken. Or Reek, my fault. <laughs> Reek is so broken. That's tough. I don't even know what to do with that. I'm going to keep her ass here, though. Rob Stark, I, I, he's dead. I'm, I'm going to leave him there, though. Yeah, I'm going to leave him there, though. I can't put him as there because you really married a whole nother chick when you're crazy. Podrick, I think it might be Esther. But you really took your eyes off of Arya. You're so goofy. And then he lost the horses. He's so goofy, bro. Oh my gosh. But he's a great guy. Am I really going to put him as there? Someone got to go. Where do I put him as there? Bron? <clears throat> I keep you an A plus. Like I understand fully why you didn't fight for Tyrion. To put to go. I mean, we saw what happened to Oberyn, and I thought I thought he was good. I thought he was cool. He was doing a lot of like swinging. Now I'm like, okay, they they dragging this out, but we know we know what's gonna happen. We did not know what was gonna. I, I didn't know what was gonna happen. Maybe y'all did. I didn't. So that could have been Bron. <laughs> that could have Bron. Oh, he made a good call, and they he the. Uh, Man, he is a cutthroat, ain't he? He is a cutthroat. Talking about he gonna kill his wife's sister just so she she could go. Oh man, I'm gonna leave you there though. Varys, Esther, I don't care. Esther, Esther, Esther. I I'm not even gonna explain it. L leave it up to your imagination. Jacken, haven't seen you in a while. I might remove him. Yeah, probably. Cause like, there are certain characters where I'm like, I don't know. If I, I I'll ever see you again, you know what I'm saying. So I just kept them on, but honestly, I probably I'll just take them out and then I'll add them back if uh, they come back, obviously. But for now, he was cool. I don't know why you an A plus tier though. I, I'll put you down there. What? See, like what? I'm looking at this and I'm like thinking to myself, self, who the fuck made this tier list? Who made it? Honestly. Again, you're not going, Ned, you're not going to S tier because you did some childish stuff. But like, straight up, like he, that's Ned Stark. Every, he's so honorable and he's so skillful. He's a, he's a warrior. He's patient. He's smart. Like, he's just, he's just so, he, he, he's, it feels naive. I, like, he feels too naive at times. Too naive. But to still like send the letter out to Stannis and be like this is what's up before he died oh my gosh but I mean yeah yeah I'll, I'll leave him there I'll leave him there Professor X what have you done though you cool you're smart you're under like you listen to the people around you but I don't got any beef with you I'll leave you an A tier Jamie. So let me talk about Jamie. This is the first character where now I gotta I gotta actually talk about it. Jamie is interesting. Someone told me uh, in that one scene where he he and Cersei where he uh did what he did to Cersei in the scepter, apparent or in sept whatever. Someone said that in the books it was different. Like apparently they had sex immediately when he came back, but the show writers decided to have that scene instead. I don't know why or maybe i'm misunderstanding i don't know why they decided to go that route because what killed me about that and why in the reaction i specifically said i'm going to wait for their next scene to say anything it was because it was i was like i need to understand like 
after that scene, Cersei and Jaime, it it almost felt like that scene didn't happen for both of them. You know what I mean? Like they could have that entire scene could have not had that, and then the rest of the scene still would have been the same, pretty much. Like, because Jamie, it did make sense. Jamie, the guy who uh, spoke up for Brienne not to have her assaulted, and then got his uh, well, he got his hand chopped off for a kind of a separate, separate reason. But anyway, saved Brienne. But then not only that, when he's on his way back to King's Landing, decides to double back for Brienne. Not just that, to jump into the bear. Don't get me wrong. We all love BB, but you really like jumped into that pit with the bear, got her up out of there, got you up out of it. Oh my gosh. And then you go all the way there. You see her. She's a bitch. And then it's like, and then you do that over like next to your son's body. Like every, like the stuff behind that or the stuff before that. And after that, it didn't, it felt like that scene didn't make sense maybe it's just me or because I, I know a lot of y'all catch uh certain things that i don't catch or like a lot of y'all have rewatched the show or like smarter than me or whatever explain it to me <laughs> you know what i'm saying like maybe i'm just misunderstanding but it really didn't feel like that scene needed to happen to add context to any other scene it felt like because the characters jamie cersei they didn't act different from before that scene to after that scene it was still good guy jamie bitch cersei there was, i mean so anyway personally i'm gonna pretend like that shit didn't happen <laughs> per, hey i'm a hey usually i try to keep the show and the book separate because i'm like okay it's basically a different story right if they're gonna change little things it's, it's not the same story anymore you know what i'm saying and especially if they're big things that they're gonna change I'm like I'm not gonna treat it like it's the same story. So a lot of time when you guys bring up stuff that happened in the books, it's in one ear out the other because I don't care. I'm watching the show, unless it's obviously just adding context to something. But if they're just gonna change something, but I feel like the book version makes more sense, especially when Cersei wasn't. Who was she smashing? Where's Lancel been? Cause here, hold on. Now let let me talk about it. Now we're in the bag. Now we're in the bag. He been gone for a year or some, some uh, around that time frame gone for a year cersei knows he'd been captured for a year who she been fucking because i ain't seen lancel in like what two seasons like i i ain't seen lancel anywhere so she ain't been fucking jamie ain't been fucking to me the book version of things if like that's what happened if i didn't because maybe because you know i read a lot of things maybe i'm getting it mixed up but if the if the book version of things were like jamie came uh back and uh came you know what i mean on cersei's back like, I don't, <laughs> but if they got together like right after that to me makes more sense so i'm just gonna pretend like that happened with that being said jamie's eight plus here now <laughs> hey he might be s tier let me think about it nah bro you, you push that nigga brand out the <laughs> like there's just certain things i get why he did it but you pushed it and then you didn't even like it wasn't even like it was like yep, gotta do what i gotta do like that's crazy that's crazy that's crazy brian you kill me because like aria don't want to go with you bro aria don't want to go with you the whole time like aria's like like no i'm with the hound and she i get it like you, you swore an oath k k Bro, Catelyn's dead, bro. Who are you going to return them to? I get it. Keep her safe. But if she literally feels safer with you or safer with like the Hound, what are you going to do? Like, how would you even do you got to whole fight? Do you kill my nigga Undertaker, bro? Like you killed Uncle Undertaker? I can't. If you kill the Hound when he didn't even do anything. I mean, like, do, didn't do anything to Arya, I should say. <laughs> like, oh, man. And then he went out so sad. Like, because I get, because here's my thing. I understand. Like, because let's be real. He was talking about, 
uh, all these things just to get Arya to kill him, and then he, uh, she left him, or whatever. And uh, and and by the way, like me recording this, I haven't seen obviously people's comments on the last episode. They that was just the last episode. So if y'all have a, I, I don't know y'all thoughts on that. If maybe I'm misunderstanding, and blah blah blah. But the Hound is a broken pr- in this universe. Hey, maybe you killed a kid or two. I'm not gonna hold it against you. <laughs> hey, real like, bro. Jamie pushed Brand out of a window. Uh, uh, Robert wanted to have Daenerys killed. Uh, uh, the Hound done killed the Butcher's boy. That was on orders. You know what I'm? S- I mean, like that. It's not cool. I'm not saying it's cool. I'm not saying it's okay. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? like and i'm not going like that the hound is obviously he he's one of the realest characters he's one of the realest right like he just he following orders he already fucked up in the head the fact that he's a clegane i mean his brother burned his face and his father covered it up and they've been fucked up all like i mean I, the fact that he turned out this well I'm, there, I'm sure there are plenty of characters in this show that had a great childhood and still do crazy things. So the fact that he turned out this well, I mean, come on, man. Give him some credit. Because here's my thing. I'm not done talking about it. Here's my thing. After. Okay. I get that he wouldn't want to do anything to Arya if he's trying to give Arya back to. Am I recording? Give Arya back to Catelyn. Or her, uh, her brother Rob. He finds out they're dead. I'm like, okay, well, what now? Give Arya to the aunt. Still reason enough for the hound not to do anything to Arya. Right? Not to, like, whatever. He's, again, smack the shit out of him. But that's the hound shit. That's the hound type shit. Anyway. <laughs> uh, find out that the aunt's dead. Now, now, where do we see them? The hound's just taking a shit. Just thinking about, damn, I wish I could. Three days late. I could, oh, man. I, uh, uh, who, who's that? Who's there? Lannister in, in Lannister armor. Oh, let me. I, I'm not gonna wipe. I'm not gonna wipe. Uh, like, bro, he just he chilling. He chilling with Arya. He's ta- he's talking like to Brienne, like you can't protect her if you're this goofy. And let's be honest, Brienne's kind of goofy. Something like she she got the same Ned Stark na- naivete. Is that how you say it? She got the same like uh, the Hound is just being real. And Arya's like, I'm not leaving, bro. And then bro got broken leg. Now she, but <sighs> I feel like Brienne got all of Ned's naivete, but like naivety, naive some. She's naive like him at times, but it's like she ain't as cool as nigga, bro. Like, <laughs> like he ain't. She ain't as cool as him. So it's like. But she, she, I gotta give her her props. She went one on one with the hound, gave him a chance to like give up. He didn't take that chance. Hand to hand, won the fight. And she took the hound was like a ground and pound, and she was eating it. Like, I gotta give her her respect for that. I got to. Ain't, ain't nothing but to do, ain't nothing to do but to respect it. But Brienne kills me, bro. Anyway. But I can't be mad because she really just trying to hold an oath. She made an oath. I can't be mad at people that try to respect their oaths. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm clapping all up in y'all ear. That kills me, bro. I just, I'm, so, I'm so stuck on Brienne right now. Do I really call it? If I hold, we gon' we gon' revamp this whole tier list. Pretend like I the other videos didn't even happen. Oh my gosh! At this point, like, I don't know, bro. I don't know. She killing me. I can't be mad. I can't be. I'm gonna keep her A tier. I'm gonna keep her A tier. If Brand's an A tier, I'm gonna keep her an A tier. Cause it's like. You know what's hilarious? 
The fact that Professor X finally found his school for mutants, bro. He finally found the children of the forest. They all got powers and shit. Well, old girl was throwing the uh, explosive powder. Looking like Cyclops. Love that. But he cool. Like, I'm not going... <sighs> He's just too cocky sometimes. That's what kills me. He's just too cocky. Anyways, Brienne. I'm going to keep you up here for now. We're, we're going to see where other people land. And we're we, we, we going to get right. We're going to get right. Daenerys. Daenerys kills me. <laughs> but she does, like, it does, uh, I get it. I get her. And I'm not mad at her. She wanted some of that Dario dick. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at what she did to the slave owners. The slavers, I think is what they call them. Like, I, and she's been reasonable. And like the way she like did Jorah, like, you know, you betrayed me. And personally, I ain't holding it against, bro. Like, I'm like, you've been, but at the same time, could you really trust him? Like, be real. Like, y'all, y'all answer me. Y'all, y'all say, uh, would y'all trust Jorah? I, you find out you Daenerys you've been trusting you find out all this happened before but he's telling you yes but now I'm loyal to you and he's telling you the truth and it's like what do y'all do as Daenerys what do y'all do as Daenerys because I don't know what I do I don't know because I because she did the she just let bro leave she didn't kill him nothing that's so I I get it you just let bro leave that's it I can't be mad at it and it's like and then she chained up her dragons granted she don't know which dragon uh burnt oh, burnt little girl but we all know it's drogon come on i still don't know if that's how you pronounce that dragon's name but the, how are you gonna chain up the, that has to be a heart-wrenching and they're screaming at you mama oh my gosh and you just gotta leave and leave them in darkness i gotta see what's gonna happen there I gotta see. I'm telling you, from season one, like the, uh, season one, season two, with Daenerys being the least interesting it's a plot for me, at least the least interesting part. Now I'm like, I gotta see where's Joe going. Like, what? I gotta, I gotta peep that. Oh my gosh. Anyways, Daenerys, I'll leave you in a tier. Uh, <laughs> Ed Sheeran, Tormund, Giants, man, I fuck with him. And he was fighting. He was the last alive. He was the last. Because it's not like from the beginning of the battle. Battle They were like, oh, we'll, we'll let bro live. We'll, we'll, we'll keep him for last. No. He was the last one standing. Arrows in him. Just swinging. My legs don't work like a, like they used to before. Like, that. that's it. You know what I'm saying? And he, and he beat Sir Alistair. And Sir Alistair was going crazy. Could he be even better? Like, he was going crazy. So it's like. He might go to A plus, <laughs> cause every time he on screen, I fuck with him, and he really, and he really like meeting with John like, A, bro, like, A grip wants to be in the north, the true north. Like, let's be, let's speak as men. Oh yeah, you may, maybe you been hanging with us too much. Like, he got a swagger about him. He got a swagger about him that I can't deny. He might be S. <laughs> no, let me stop. Let me stop. But. Pipe, why are you losing horses? Get your ass back to A plus tier. I was playing. Why are you losing horses? That kills me. 30 miles and you're losing horses? Oh my gosh. Granted, I probably would have fucked up the knot too, but. Bro, there's a. This summer, summertime in the country? I mean, you leave a window open for a second. Anyways. Uh. John, <laughs> okay, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stop getting up. I'm gonna stop getting up because I'm gonna start sweating. I'm gonna start sweating. All right, all right. I mean, John, he he got that dog in, and then the way he was looking at Egret, like you're alive, and then boom, Ali went crazy. Is Ali on this tier list? He is. He is. I'm pretty sure he is. Wait, what? Oh yeah, there he is. I'm, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him one day. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me let him fly around and then I'll handle him after this video. Uh, I mean, do we, do we have to say anything? Really? Do we have to? John, he took charge. He was fighting. He beat the thin, the, th uh, the thin guy. 
I wasn't expecting that. Not I was expecting him to beat him solo. And he beat Carl Tanner. Granted, it wasn't solo. But Carl Tanner, he was he was crazy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm fucking with that. Sam, oh my gosh, this tier list is like I might as well have started it from scratch. Sam. Nice headshot, but he's so goofy, but he know how to talk now. Like, I feel like his dialogue has been damn good. I feel like wherever Padre go at this point, Sam got to go there. Because, <laughs> like, he he caring, but, like, the fact he went out and fought anyway, and he, like, calming down Pip, and then Pip dies in his arms, and he's still like, I got to keep moving. I got to deliver a message to John. Like, he really out in the field. He, 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 he hit Gilly and everything. Pip, open the fucking door, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I got to respect it. I got to respect everything about him. I do. But you, you really couldn't have loaded the crossbow before you started moving. Granted, I maybe you know the show wanted to add a little uh, tension, but come on, Sam wasn't dying. I keep saying this about characters, then they end up dying, but you know, I'll leave him there. I'll leave him there. I'll leave him there. I'll leave him there. Egret. Oh, that kills me. That kills me. But the fact that you can tell, if given the chance, she's not pulling, she's not letting loose that arrow into John. She's not, she's not letting it. Hold the fuck, hold on. All right, anyway, anyway. <clears throat> if she really had to let that catchphrase loose, come talking about John Snow, you you know nothing, John Snow. Now you definitely know nothing because you're dead. That's that's tough. That's tough. And she just want she she just wanted a little bit of love, bro. She she wilding. She don't know how to love. It's all right. John was teaching her, and, she, and he left. Could you imagine? Oh man, someone's leaving you. Or see, someone's teaching you how to love, and then they leave you. Oh man. That kills me. Why is Lancel on this tier list? <laughs> I'm just now noticing that. I, he's, oh yeah, because I didn't know where to put him because we ain't seen him. Yeah, he probably gonna be up out of here by next year. I'm, he might be up out of here right now. We gonna see. We gonna see. Uh, she she was going crazy. I gotta again. Com I keep forgetting to, to add in combat ability. She was going crazy with the arrows. He's going crazy with the arrows. What do you want me to do? All right, Roz. Why are you in B tier? I, oh, man. It sucks what you went through. But you were so... You should have just stayed in the north. <clears throat> but she was smart. I, I'm, I'm not going to hate on her, but you definitely going down to C tier. That's tough, though. Talissa, why are you up here? <laughs> I don't know what I was on, bro. Like, how the fuck she get up there? I'm trying to figure out. Attack attack that must have been it. She crazy as hell and fine as hell. Oh man, she, you know she was putting on Rob. At least Rob got to experience it before he died. You know what I'm saying? That's tough though. That's tough. And she didn't do nothing wrong. Like right? she's like that kills me, bro. I can't I can't bear to put her. I can't bear to put her that low. I'll put her next to Roz. That I I can't bear to put Roz into this low because it's like they didn't do anything. <sighs> I mean, yeah, Roz was working for Varys, but like, it's like, I'm not going to be mad at someone working for Varys. That's like being mad at someone working for Tyrion. Like, what? What are we talking about? Davos. Oh my God. We got to talk about Davos. Stannis is out here fucking Azula. Stannis is out here fucking goddamn uh, Melisandre. Is that how you say her name? Melisandre? He's out here fucking her. Wait, he, he fucked her one time, as far as we know, right? And then he got his wife, Celise. He not fucking her, but I tell you, the one person he need to be fucking, Sir Davos. They, apparently, they already know because Davos doing tricks on it. Davos D one Glazer, bro, and I love that for him. Iris, he every time he talks, he struggles not to choke. On Stannis's dick, and I gotta respect that. I gotta respect that, bro. The one true king, but you supposed to say your grace. The way he was talking to the Iron Bank of Bravos, I was calling them the Iron Bank of Brothers for so long, y'all. 
I thought it was brothers. I was. I thought it was okay. Anyway, he was talking. This is Stannis. The one tree. He was talking up a go, good game the whole time. Stannis looking uh, angry, Luigi. Like I gotta respect it. Like he, and then he's just a good guy. You know what I'm saying? He knows Stannis got to be the king. He don't care if Stannis is trying to burn him alive. And he understands that Stannis is going down a dark path with... uh, What's her face? Oh my god, a video just got blocked. <laughs> I'll fix that. Love that for him. He, he's a talker. He might go A+. Plus. There's too many people A+. Plus. I'll say that right now. There's too many people A+. Plus. But I'm not gonna. It's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll work it out. We'll work it out. It's fine though. I love this. I love this though. I guess. I don't know. Jorah. Jorah kills me. <laughs> Jorah is like. I can't. He hasn't done anything. He hasn't. Re Honestly, he hasn't done anything. You know, I, he spied on Daenerys, but I wouldn't call that wrong. Especially like in the time that he was. Like, Daenerys was a little girl. Like, he don't know. A, a girl that can like that's tar a, a targaryen like he and he just want to go home and i'm <sighs> and he always got something smart to say like like intelligent it's like <sighs> he's a good fighter too I i'll keep him here i'll keep him here i'll keep him here Gary, bro, Gary might be ass. He might be ass. The way he was, he was so, he's so respectful. I got a vibe with that. He a respectful killer. You, when you a killer and and you respectful, and he look at Masande, he, he, he approached it perfectly, bro. And Masande really like I, 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 like I like that. Like oh my gosh, because you know, to to Gary. That not you already know they all eunuchs all the sullied are unsullied are eunuchs and they since boys so they ain't ever been with the woman they ain't ever been with the woman y'all I don't even know how much interaction they've even had with uh women all they know is killing and something in his, despite not having the full package something in his head is telling him Masande look good y'all and he's still controlling him like he's still like I don't. I don't want to be disrespectful with it. He and he's like, cause he's given. There's a reason the Unsullied picked him as their leader. How the, f how are y'all gonna like be Unsullied together? Y'all are peak discipline. Y'all aren't conversating, right? Like, they, are they giving chances to just conversate, to really talk to each other? Out of all the Unsullied, they pick him as the leader. And before, when they initially uh, introduced the Grey Worm. I thought that they were picking like several generals. No, he's the or like the leader of the Unsullied. Like he's their the um, connection point between them and Daenerys, right? Like he's the head Unsullied. If you're that guy to the Unsullied, and you're that respectful of women, like I gotta respect. Oh my gosh, he's s here. I don't talk myself into it. Marge Simpson. She know what she want. <laughs> it's and, and she knows what Tommen wants. Hello, hello. Uh, I'm not. I'm not mad at her. B tier seems fair to me. It seems fair. She hasn't done anything like, you know, crazy impressive. She and I feel like if she does anything that's really smart, it, it was probably her grandmother's idea, right? And I'm just like. So I'm just looking out my window, looking at the clouds, just thinking about Marjorie. <laughs> all right, all right, we'll keep her there. Callan, yeah, I'll keep her there. Whatever. Jor, I'll keep him there. Whatever. Uh, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll put him in A tier, bro. We're about to get you off the tier list. So I'll put you in A tier. Blackfish, Elena. The last time I did this tier list, I it wasn't revealed. Like the Joffrey poisoning didn't happen, right? So I didn't really know what she was capable of. She came up with this whole plan. Oh. 
I mean, I don't know if she came up with the whole plan. I think her and Baelish, uh, what, what's it called? Colluded? I think that's what happened. Her and Baelish, maybe Baelish brought up the idea, probably. For sure, Baelish brought up the idea. But Elena knows how to play her uh, position. She not she not the quarterback. She knows how to play, play her position though. It's respectable. I gotta bump you up to A tier for knocking off Joffrey. Yeah, and they're like you know again Robert's dead. I haven't seen Blackfish, so I'm gonna just keep him there. I, Blackfish will be on the next tier list because I feel like he gotta come back, right? Well, you know what? if he don't come back by the end of the next season, I'll probably just take him off. Santa, 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 Santa. She really lied, and she know she know what she want. She want that. She want to be queen. And it, it, it seems like Baelish is the closest. Well, she want to be queen, but without having to marry Joffrey <laughs> or Tyrion. Cause she know what Baelish wants. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Oh man. right maybe i'm looking into it like uh, i don't know man i gotta I, I'll, I'll bump her up a tear we haven't seen gendry we haven't seen gendry that's crazy bro what's going on in the world kevin bacon used prosthetics to experience life as a normal person this sucks he needs a prosthetic the richest comedian in the world is it leno or letter i don't give a fuck it according to whatever Alright, well, no. Uh <laughs> Gendry, I'll keep you there, man. I don't know shit about uh, you're moving down the tier, bro. I don't know shit about you, bro. Mace Deloon, you're about to get up out of here, but I leave you in C tier. Shay! 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 Shay, you gotta get up out of here. I still don't know. I still don't know. I still don't know. I still don't know. Is basically what I'm trying to say. Hold up. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how long she's. I don't know if she's been betraying Tyrion from the start. It's crazy because it's like I don't, I'm. I'm. In, I'm gonna need to wait. I'm gonna keep Tywin and Shay on the tier list for next time because I need to know what y'all got to say. Because I don't know how far in advance Tywin been. Are, are we supposed to guess? Is that what it is? Are we supposed to guess? I don't. Because if if Shay. If her being called a whore and Tyrion breaking up with her and sending her off, if that was when she decided to betray Tyrion, that's that's whack as hell. That's whack as hell. If she's been if Tywin knew everything that was gonna happen somehow and like knew how Tyrion would be and set Shay up to be the one because he knew, oh well, he's going into battle. He's gonna want a whore. If he thought about that that far ahead, oh my god! But there's no way. I, I'm gonna keep him on the tier list though. Anyway, Shay, yeah. But it, out of the way, she going to F minus. I don't give a damn. That's crazy. She was throwing it on your father, Tyrion. She was throwing it on your father. Oh, on your father talking about my lion. And she, again, what kills me, what kills me more than anything, is that she never put on all that makeup for Tyrion. She put it on for Tywin. That, that's, that, I know I'm looking way too far into that, into that, but that's the only thing that's making me think that Tywin, that she, she's basically been on Tywin's payroll the whole time. That one thing, her having makeup on. Because I'm like, you putting on makeup for Tywin, but not Tyrion? Oh, that, that must be really like, Oh my god. And then she wanna act offended when she says Shay the funny whore. If she if this has been a plan from the very beginning, and her acting offended that she's a whore, but not actually giving a fuck and just being on Tywin's payroll, but her knowing that doing this little push and pull might keep Tyrion with her long Oh That'd be crazy. Cause it wouldn't make cause that would actually explain why she was so <sighs> Why she wanted to stay in King's Landing so bad. Sure, we could say it was for love, but on the other end, it's like, was it really for love? Like, because if, if she was on the payroll and she knew that she was never actually in danger. What? 
What if that's why Roz was caught and uh, Cersei thought she was Shay? Nah, that's probably not it. I'm spitting all over the... I don't know. Leave her F minus though. I'm gonna leave her F minus. I haven't seen Osha. She might be up. Nah, I'll get it again. We'll see you next season. We'll see you next season. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Stannis. Stannis! Sir Davos has been carrying you, bro. He's, Sir Davos the one who sent the letter to the Iron Bank of Bravos. He's the one who who convinced them. He's the one who got you your army, bro. Stannis, though, I'll fuck with you. And he seems so like, the fact that he asking John, a bastard. What would Ned Stark do? Yeah, all right, we'll do it. Like, he cool. He cool. And a lot of what he's doing is because he really believes in the Lord of Light. And I can't be like, I can't say that's the craziest thing in the world. I can't. I cannot. I'm going to put you below Sir Davos. <laughs> I'm going to put you below him. Renly, I mean, I'll keep you here. I, again, I, he, he, he'll, he'll be off by next year list. I'll keep him there though. Cause he was cool. Nah, like he got hold. I'm moving up to B tier. He got hold by a shadow coochie monster that has only made one appearance. You know why he why that monster has only made one appearance, really? Was because he too powerful. He too OP to just be showing up. Really got hold by someone with hacks. He didn't even really get a chance, bro. He had Brienne as the king's guard. He had Marjorie on his shoulder. He had Sir Loris. Uh, the knight that, fu that is a good he's a good fighter and he's a good fucker i guess maybe like he got he had the he had the army bro <sighs> he got hold he got so hold and then he told ned stark bro this shit gonna go left you gotta come with oh he might be a tier he might be a tier he might be a tier he told Ned, this shit is going to go left. I'm out of here. Are you out of here? And now look at him like they... Child of incest did really know from the beginning, maybe? I don't know. Well, probably not. But he got hold by a shit. I can't respect... I can't, like, bash really for dying that way because it's like, what do you do against that? Anyone, anyone dies from that. Who fights that? He got hold. Uh, who's next? Sir Loris? I fuck him. He, he was talking to Jamie. I fuck him. Tywin. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be the last, like, where I place him. Like, this is. Wait, no, no. I forgot. I gotta keep him on to see what y'all got to say. Whatever. You're fuck. You. I can't respect what you've been doing to Tyrion, bro. Here's the thing. Here's the thing about Tywin. And I said it before. And look at where I said it. I was like, dude, you're you're saying your family name is important. But it's at the cost of your family. I said this. Now look. Tyrion was supposed to be executed. Tyrion killed him. Cersei was supposed to marry Sir Loras. Cersei said, fuck that. I'ma fuck my brother. Cause I want to. J Jamie's like. I'm staying in the King's, King's Guard. I don't care what you got to say. I'm staying in the King's Guard. I've betrayed my oath. They wanted me to bring your head. Ja I mean, Jamie's probably your best kid, to be honest, Tywin. Like, you, if you keep... <sighs> you cannot expect people to keep going along with what you're saying if they continuously don't want to. <laughs> it, like, it, it works permanently. It's the same thing with leadership through fear. It's the same thing. Sure, people will, uh, it's one of two things. If people fear you, they're either going to stop fearing you and just say, fuck it. Like Tyrion. He was like, he was, he could have got gone, but like, it's like, well, th that was a little different. Cause it's, I don't know that that shit's complicated. Cause Tyrion was treated crazy the, his, his whole life, but it's like, Either that's going to happen or people who do listen to you are going to do the bare minimum to not get punished. And it's like. 
because like if you die sure you're setting up your family you're or in your mind you're setting up your family name but it's like you know sooner or later you're going to die like he know, he's trying to set up his family because he knows he's gonna die look at where they are <laughs> after you die they're carrying on the family name what are they gonna do with it you have to set them up to like <laughs> Like, you're, you're putting them in the position, but you're not really developing them for that position. In a, like, you know what I'm... Like, Marjorie. Olena... This is what I'm saying, bro. Olena has clearly groomed Marjorie for this. For this position. She was down to marry Joffrey. She was gonna do it. And she was gonna do it with a smile on her face. And now she over here sneaking into Tommen's room at night. Tommen's room at night at nigget like so it's what do you like olena's really grooming marjorie for this position versus tywin's just throwing them in that position and being like it's your family name too so you're supposed to do it i can't and then, but here's what's crazy i want to move tywin down not to detail because he still makes plays i'm not gonna be mad at that I want to move him down, but if he set up that Shea play, the Shea play, that nigga might go. <laughs> he, he, we're not going to move him more than a tier. He might go up to B tier. We'll see. For now, I'm going to move him down a tier. You, you like it, It's so like. <sighs> is it like Cersei really tell you? Of course you wouldn't know. Even though your family, you're so blinded. He's so blinded. That's what it is. He's intelligent, but he's so blinded by the family name that he's being goofy. Tyrion is your family, brother. Like, hey, you're treating him crazy. Just because you don't want him to, like, do the family name wrong. But, like, what's crazy is if you treated him like true family from the very beginning, I'm sure Tyrion would have done the family name well. Cause he's always been they, they proved it with when he was talking about uh cool, 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 with the beatles he's always been inquisitive he's always been trying to figure out things like he already inquisitive he, you could have set him up to really like lead the next generation even if you don't fuck with Tyrion, even if you're like he's a dwarf fuck him you could still be like okay well at least if i set you up for success maybe you'll have children or like hopefully you'll have children that you can then groom to carry on the legacy because like he's like He's pretending like his legacy is he has to see it or like it's his immediate the people immediately close to him and heritage I guess or like people who are close to him hereditarily I don't know what the fuck I'm saying but the people that are close like only they can do the family name right when like you have to also consider the family name after that after them their children and then their children's children and then so on and so forth you're, you're grooming them to be in these positions but i feel like you're not you you're not you're choosing not to groom them to set up the next generation to be in a, a great position their next your next generation i don't know what i'm saying all i know is tywin kills me that's all i know that's all i know okay 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 i'm a okay let's just say sir davis's son I'm, I'm gonna remove him i just now noticed he's still here where we'll talk to him haven't seen you haven't seen you haven't seen you but we're gonna keep the three of you here on the tier list because y'all can't be dead like come on Missande, she a little freak she like a respectful she a classy freak i love that she a woman that you can really go go like you know walk around the city with and you know she, she oh my gosh you know she look good but she don't need to flaunt it all the time and that's cool but if she wants to she's gonna and I gotta respect it. <laughs> it's like, bruh. She know. Oh my gosh. She was so. She said, "Gary, I'm happy you saw me all butt booty ass naked." She said that word for word. Read the subtitles. Oh my gosh. And she just. And then that was it. Then they like went about their way. And she just. She a little freakazoid. But she's so classy at the same time. Ain't that the best? oh my gosh that's the best because it's like 
Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> All right. Ugh. Misa, or Misa, Mira. She cool. Don't have a problem with her. Don't. I don't. I do not have a problem with her. She killed her brother. It's funny because like for a split second, I didn't mention this in the video, but for a split second when she took out the knife, I thought she was going to slit her own throat because her brother died or whatever. But she didn't. She just fighting. I don't have a problem with her. Yeah. I feel like I got combined C and I don't know tier. I feel like now we're we're at a place where we can do that. Mance Raider, he cool. I fuck with him heavy. Don't have a problem. He's smart too. And I I can't be mad at him. I move him up a tier. Ah, oh, Jojen, he knew the whole time he was gonna die. He was just fighting to get him there. And she, he was just getting stabbed. Y'all see how he was getting stabbed by goddamn uh, the Jack Sparrow extras? The, uh, not Jack, Pirates of the Carib Caribbean extras? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'll move you up to A tier. Rest in peace, rest in peace. Yeah. Sir Barristan. I respect the hell out of how <coughs> oh my god. I respect the hell out of how he handled the Jorah situation. He was so calm about it. He gave him the evidence. Hey, you betrayed us. Jorah's like, let me just talk. You will never be alone with her again. And then he went. And then he let Daenerys handle it. I gotta respect that. I had to move my AC, man. Like I had to blast it on me. Now I'm starting to sweat. What was that? Where was I? Sir Barristan, I respect that. I'll move you up a tier. I'll move you up a tier for sure. For sure, for sure. Yep, yep, yep. Balin Greyjoy. I don't know, bro. I, I'm, yeah, let's combine uh, these tiers. Because, yeah. You hold Theon. You hold him. You might go in D tier because you hold him. You're not gonna send anybody. Your your daughter had to, but oh yeah, I remember. I remember. I said, but at least he let her go. You know what I mean? Real talk. He didn't like try to. You could tell he felt some type of way. I'm not gonna. And the fact that he still let Theon in on the meetings was kind of like goofy. Like if you don't trust him, why is he in your meetings? What? Yeah, I'm like I'm gonna keep him in detail. I'm gonna keep him in detail for now. I might as well move. This is like you know simple. So like. The sun and uh, her. I I'll leave the sun out of this. I'll leave the sun out of this for now. But clearly, she don't know how to raise him. She tried to kill Sansa. She was like, "Baelish, I let you beat up my walls, and you you still like want to be with this hussy? Like, I love you." She she's so fucking crazy. Yeah, you go down. Cause you you just you just mentally ill. You need drugs. You uh, something, Lancel. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Yeah. But again, we're gonna we're gonna move everybody. We're gonna move everybody. Cause clearly, like, what do y'all want me to do here? What do y'all want me to do here? Let, let's move everyone. You're going in D two, brother. <laughs> All right. Delete bro. Cool. All right, all right. Where are we? All right. We're probably gonna leave him, but we'll or delete him, but we'll leave him here for now. Rickon? Oh my gosh, Rickon. You you might go in D tier. <laughs> he hasn't even showed up this season and I'm putting him in D tier. Like, <laughs> because it's like, bro, what do you want? Like, I mean, whatever. I'm not even going to try to explain it. Reek. Oh, poor Reek. I don't even know what to do with you. Poor Reek. He just, like, he's not even a character anymore. <laughs> He's not because if you do every if a character literally only does what someone else says and that's it out of pure fear and trauma, where, how can I place you anywhere? Because he obviously doesn't want to do it, but he's still going to do it. 
but we don't know how much he like we have we have no sense of like him as a person at this point really except that he's traumatized <laughs> and obviously like who would want to do the things that <sighs> i keep you in c tier i don't know what to do hold or Hodor is strong as fuck. Granted, he similar to Theon, but like in a different way. He's kind of useless by himself. The only time he use, he's useful is when Professor X is controlling him. Oh, I'm not gonna say useless. He carries him around, but hey, you know he does stuff. He like literally has he does have his own mind. But I will say the utility of him being so simple minded. So uh, Bran, that's what I'm assuming. Like the fact that he's simple minded is what allows Bran to control him. Right? That makes sense but that that's such a great utility it's so good that he didn't well i'm not gonna say because like obviously if hodor was smarter burn wouldn't need to control him but hodor strong as i don't know what to do bro i'll put you up in b tier burn is carrying you but you're a great utility item great utility item for sure i get you melisandre melisandre whatever azula she is so now i don't know now that i know that she has these potions now i don't know how much of her powers are real how much like we seeing how much are we seeing that like is because of the lord of light i should say but she fine as hell <laughs> but but it's like what do you i mean great you lord of light is talking to you good for you like i don't <laughs> What do you want me to do with that? Or apparently, someone said, uh, really, the only, only thing Lord of Light has really shown her is that Robert is uh, the chosen one. Or not Robert, sorry. Stannis is the chosen one and is the one to defeat somebody or something or the White Wire. I don't know. That, that, that Stannis is important. Basically, the Lord of Light is saying. But that's it. And I'm like, that's so whack, because she goes forward as if everything she's doing is correct. She's literally not. Like, she's, <laughs> she's, because what she's doing is what everyone else does. Because if in your head, you're like, let's just say Sir Davos. Sir Davos believes the exact same thing. That Stannis is the key to like, or he needs to rule the kingdom. Or Stannis is the king. The, the person... And my comments was like, well, Azula, she knows that Stannis is the chosen one and uh, it would be easier if he was king. And that's why she wants to make him king. And it's like, okay, so Sir Davos and Melisandre think the same thing, except Melisandre is just assuming it's, she's doing the same thing like everyone else in this world. Like she, she, she has, she has a thought process of like the best person to be in a position and does her best to like put them in that position so like are you telling me everything that she's doing is just an assumption to like get stannis what he needs because sir davos doing the same damn thing except better apparently <laughs> i don't know i mean i don't know man why did y'all kill renly if if y'all don't even care about stannis being the king anymore Azula said, like, uh, the Battle of the Kings don't even matter. We gotta fight the White Walkers. After Sir Davos done told you that. That kills me. You're thinking all this. I was like, so y'all killed Renly for no reason. You literally birthed a Shadow Coochie monster. So y'all could kill Renly so Stannis can become king. Now being king don't matter like and like it's not even like really being a king it's like it's, it's lip service it's lip service because like y'all already calling him a king sir davo said uh stannis is your king you will address him now now stannis is just the king even though technically tommen is the king and then mance is the king beyond the walls literally it's just a title why are we fighting for it if every if people are just going to choose like <laughs> If we're just gonna pick and choose, then why the fuck did y'all kill Renly? Oh my gosh, that kills me. Killed him, killed his own brother for something he don't even want anymore, really. Or is not even fighting for in the same way. I don't know if anything I'm saying is making sense, but you gotta go down the tier. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna keep you up. I'm gonna keep you up a tier. I'll keep you in C tier. I'll keep you in C tier. 
Gilly. She cool. I don't know. Yeah, she because she was in the I don't know tier. So yeah, I'll keep her here. Rose Bolton. He hasn't really done much this season. I guess he uh he kind of told Ramsey, hey, we don't flay people. Oh, but you got him under control? Mm, use that. I mean, he cool. I don't really have a... Yeah, I keep him C tier. I keep him C tier. I ain't gonna think too much about it. Cersei. Cersei fucking blows. <laughs> she, every, every story, every single story about her childhood is her being insane. You were pinching Tyrion's cock, bro? Why? <laughs> And then what she, oh my gosh, the whole, this whole season she talked about Tyrion killed my baby. No, she, no, he didn't. You know what's funny? You know what's hilarious? Tyrion was blamed for the same thing in season one. <laughs> or was it season one? It was season one. Or season, I think it was season one. Er, uh, Catelyn thought that Tyrion, uh, killed her baby at the i think at the time Bar bran was in a coma so we don't know if he died so we don't know if he was gonna die callan was like i don't know i don't know i gotta go and i don't know <laughs> uh but callan wasn't there or Br bran was in a coma callan didn't know like what the outcome was gonna be and she blamed Tyrion. Tyrion got blamed for bran and is getting blamed or got blamed for Joffrey. He can't catch a break. And each time the mother irrationally tries to kill him. And both times he gets taken to court, imprisoned for something he didn't do. And every time he need a champion, except this time the champion didn't win. You can't catch a break with him. He always in court for something. Tyrion, oh man, he always in court for something. I'm surprised he ain't in court for uh, 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 child support. Cause we know he been he he been piping whore after whore and land after land. Anyway, Cersei stu sucks, bro. <laughs> Cause she's not even like really smart. She's just conniving. You're just conniving. And what's worse is that conniving people trick themselves into thinking they're smart because they're pulling, they're like tricking other people, but only because people aren't thinking that you're that conniving. It's like, why would you do this? <sighs> She's so insane. Has she, like, anything she's done is not even like that smart. Oh, you pick Gregor as your champion. Congrats, he's over 400 pounds, seven feet tall. I would have picked the nigga too if I could have. Like, and then you, oh man, she got her way though, didn't she? I guess she would have gotten her way because Tywin died. But so I'll tell everyone, and I don't. You're trying to fuck your brother in the castle. What if Tommen hears? Oh my gosh, she's like, I don't care. Let them hear. She just want that. She just want that. That that's the scene that really made me think. Okay, then why did the Sept scene really really happen? Because it could have happened like it happened in the books supposedly, and it would have fit more. I feel like I don't know. Yeah, I'll leave Cersei there. I don't know, man. <laughs> Joffrey, I keep you there. You're fucking insane. But we're gonna. Should we take him off for the next? We'll take him off. We'll take him off for the next. Uh, Tier list, maybe. No, we'll see. <laughs> I, I maybe I just want to keep him down here for the rest of his time. Probably so I'll, I'll keep you down here. You're crazy. Oh my gosh, we're gonna talk about Baelish in a minute. <laughs> Ramsey, you're crazy, but you're smart, and apparently you're a good fighter. I'll move you up a tier. Y'all might be thinking Ramsey's way more fucked up than Cersei. Maybe he is. Maybe he isn't. Either way, all I know is that Ramsey can fight. I gotta give him props for that. Ramsey can he was fighting people shirt off. He wasn't hiding in a corner, nothing. He was boxing. And then sit the dogs on him. And then he saw the opportunity. Oh, Reek is really like, oh yeah, this is what he's smart. 
but I he's too insane to put him above F tier right now. If he does some more shit, where I'm like, oh, this nigga is play after play after. He's locked in. I might bump him up another tier. I don't know. He's just so insane. But I'll give I'll give him his props for combat ability for sure. And just like and just intelligence. I gotta give him his props. Uh, I haven't seen White Rat. Uh, okay, Baelish. Oh my gosh. Baelish, Baelish, Baelish. No way you set all this up. Because here's the thing. Him convincing Eliza to kill her husband by itself, again, it isn't impressive. Like anything with subterfuge and like, oh, well, you just used someone's wife to your advantage like they she fuck with you so you asked her to, it's the fact that you you could tell that he saw all the dominoes and he just he just let he just he saw all the dominoes right he and then he killed joffrey and it's a little confusing because he he had to have been lying right because okay there's a scene right where he where uh santa asks I, I believe ask Baelish, why did you kill Joffrey? And he goes, <laughs> he goes, well, because basically he, he, he killed your mother. And I'm thinking to myself, no, he didn't. Tywin did. Gr granted, like you could say Joffrey was like the king. So like Rob was fighting to, but he was, Rob was just fighting to be king of the North. It's not even, I mean, Really, like, if you want to kill somebody because Catelyn died, I feel like you would go after White Rat and Tywin. Because Tywin set up the whole thing, didn't he? Joffrey didn't think that. Didn't think of all that. And it's like... So, to me, what that told me was that, oh, you just want... Am I blurry? No, oh, whatever. What that told me was that, oh, one, maybe you're saying this to have Sansa like you more. I did it for your mother. You know what I'm saying? Or two, maybe it was another part of the plan to be like, I killed Joffrey. I killed Joffrey. And I, I did that because Olena, you get, hold on, hold on. Cause okay. If he, if ba put yourself in Bailey's shoes, right? Y'all probably like, nigga, we already know what happened. Let me, can I talk? <laughs> Can I talk? Stop, you're not listening. If you're Baelish, you're thinking to yourself, okay, I don't even know how, how I would kill Tywin. I know Marjorie, everyone knows that Marjorie wouldn't want to date, wouldn't want to uh, really marry Joffrey, but whatever. If he if he's colluding with Olena, and Olena is like, or jo Baelish is like, hey, if you help me kill Joffrey, because Baelish wasn't anywhere near there, if you help me kill. J Joffrey, look, you, your uh, Marjorie won't have to marry him. Won't have to marry that beast, and he could say, and he could use that opportunity to get Sansa to him to protect her. Even though he's t pretty much the one that put it, put uh, her in that position to have to be carried away because he's the one who colluded to kill Joffrey. If you're saying this. It, like in his mind, it could be like, I did all this to get my hands on Sansa. Wait, no, literally, he didn't do this for Catelyn, bro. He didn't do this for Catelyn. Cause if you're Baelish, you're like, easy, I'll kill Joffrey. That will create a situation where Sansa has to escape. She, she comes to me and I can say, I killed Joffrey because he killed your mother. And all of that, he's framing Tyrion. He's framing Tyrion. Why is he framing Tyrion? So Tyrion could be executed. So he could marry Sansa. Or something. So I don't know. Or Sansa don't got to marry uh, Tyrion or whatever. Maybe he was always planning on killing Lysa. Maybe. So he could marry Sansa. Oh, I don't. Bro, th this is what this is why Baelish is crazy. Cause I don't know how much of this was his plan or what he was planning. Oh my God! Do you think? Do you think maybe in some crazy universe, 
he he colluded to have Tyrion killed or like to have him put on the execution block but somehow he knew that Lord Varys would figure out a way at maybe his brother I don't know if uh, Baelish knew how close his brother was to him but maybe you would be like I trust Lord Varys to get away or find a way to free Tyrion but maybe he knew Tyrion would end up killing Tywin maybe so now he actually did kill the person who got Catelyn killed and he got rid of Lord Varys and Tyrion and now he's with Sansa and Sansa sees him as a protector at the same maybe maybe am I crazy am I I'm crazy I'm crazy I'm crazy but it's just fun to think about <laughs> it's fun to think about what if he really thought of all these different possible situations because in real in real life you don't think about one outcome because typically it's never just one outcome but it's like okay if this happens i could do this but if this happens i could do this do am i okay with both these outcomes am i okay with all three of these outcomes all four of these outcomes maybe baelish literally literally thought of all the outcomes it was like they all work in my favor oh i don't know baelish i gotta i gotta i I don't know. 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 The fact that a character can fuck me up in the head like this, I gotta bump him up like five, six tiers. The fact, oh my gosh, bro. This nigga clean, bro. This and then on top of all that. He done sent, uh, he done sent, uh, he done sent, uh, Sansa to Target to go shopping or Macy's or something. She, he, he sent her somewhere to go shopping. Got her a whole new fit. Looking clean as this pussy talk English, Spanish, and French. Like, <laughs> she, she got, he got her dressed right. I'm, I, granted, she's always been dressing right. And I'm sure she picked that out herself because he looked surprised. He said but like she you can just tell he already rubbing off on her a little bit oh meanwhile he want to rub in her it's crazy bro he's crazy bro he's so crazy oh, I, gotta, I, I got to i got to keep him i got i got <laughs> I, I got to even though i don't like him as a person oh my gosh Oh my gosh, bro. All right. All right. Uh, Chandler Bing, Sir Alistair. He, he's gained a lot of respect. Before, if I had him, I never put him on tier list because literally when he was delivering the hand and never got there, I guess, or like he got there, then it was just a dead hand or whatever. I thought I would never see him again, to be honest with you. I thought if he was another Lancel or Uncle Benjamin situation. Just thought I would never see him. But now that I see him and he's leading, like, he's still a fucking dickhead. And he's a terrible leader. Like, he's so, he's such a bad leader. First of all, let me, let me put him where I would put him, uh, before. Now that I see him in action, he's a good fighter. But that almost makes it worse that he's such a terrible leader. Jon Snow's over here trying to train these people. What are you doing complaining about Jon trying to train these people? On top of that, on top of that, that's not even the worst thing. Hold up. Anyway, you're not training the people at the wall. And what kills me is that when he was giving the orders for the arrows, that little moment, it made it abundantly clear that he was not training them for this situation they're about to fight over a, like a, like what a hundred thousand wildlings and he's over here he's telling them to knock and then he's that everyone's drawing and he said does knock mean draw that right there tells you how much of a horrible leader you are because how the fuck do they not know that how are y'all about to fight over how are y'all about to fight a, like oh my god how y'all about to fight all of the wildlings? All these giants? All these mammoths? And you didn't teach them to knock, draw loose. Granted, okay, sure, they, I'm sure they've been taught that. But the fact that the battle was happening and they all fucked it up, it's been a minute. 
like sure you can be taught one thing but like the part a big part of training is that you have to i know he did not just i got him i got him i got him not down not down anyway it, it, big part of training is that you have to keep your skills fresh you have to keep it fresh or you're gonna forget you're get you're, you're gonna be rusty you're about to fight the wildlings and these and they're fucking up like this they're dropping barrels and you're the commander or the acting commander granted there have been moments where it's like he's asking the builder what do you think but like the fact that he sent Jon snow to essentially die or like it, it like the potential of him dying by sending him to Craster's people to Craster's keep and being like mm. like just because he didn't want to have to take orders from him one day the only reason that he would be voted to be commander is if you were a horrible leader if you're a great leader you don't really have to worry about that right he would rather kill his competition than be become a better leader I can't respect that ever. Granted, he allowed volunteers to go with Jon Snow, and it's not like he could have. I immediately expected him to be like, "Well, you can't take too many people because we don't want to, you know, risk too many lives." And I, but he didn't. He let all those people go, and they were successful. And again, I, I gotta respect him giving the speech. So he's not. Look, he's not an F tier, but he's a fucking horrible leader. Holy shit! But he's a warrior. I gotta give him his props. He's a warrior terrible leader dickhead shouldn't be uh, the commander the acting commander just awful <laughs> just awful but he was fighting he was fighting i don't think he i don't think he's smart he's he a good fighter though. warrior for sure Darian the hearts i got a new photo i think before i had him a tier I can't believe Daenerys really let him. Good for you, bro. But he's so childish. Cause like, he, why? How are you gonna walk out the room, still putting on your clothes? You wanted someone to catch you. You wanted someone to catch you. And the fact that they're leaving right before the meeting. Granted, Daenerys said you're early. You know, Jorah. How er, how early would he have been? Cause you know, if you if you're too early, that's damn near disrespectful. Like, you expect people to be ready for you. So I'm thinking he's like. 30 first of all he don't got a digital watch so you already know he it's not gonna be on the dot uh he don't got no type of clock i mean i, I don't know how they whatever but <laughs> it's like was he like 30 minutes early 20 minutes early and you're uh and dario's leaving the room just now putting on his shirt you know what that tells me he hit it that morning too i'm dead bro he hit it that morning too he, it wasn't it wasn't just all night y'all know y'all know they probably got got down and dirty a few times that night they woke up said real quick before this meeting real quick before this meeting he's getting dressed like 30 minutes before the meeting and you know what's hilarious i, I realized that when they read maps on this uh show the only time that that was helpful was when rob was doing it <laughs> everyone just looking at maps and maps in this show are the equivalent of in those cia shows or like investigation detective shows where they're questioning people and they're just doing their job like they're signing papers or they're loading things onto the back of a truck or unloading them off a truck while they're explaining yeah it was bill yeah he's a big tall guy yeah he was kind of shady you know the past few days he's been walking around and, hey bob give me my th th that for this show is them reading maps they just looking at the same map did you get a new one printed sir where are you seeing this time i don't see you with those little uh things that rob had moving them you know to different places you know exactly where places are <laughs> so it's like no nah, but uh, anyway i just wanted to talk about that dario's crazy though <laughs> Dario, uh i mean he's a good fighter he's a cool guy i don't got a problem with him a plus tier is kind of high i mean he was smart enough yeah like he yeah i'll keep him a plus tier whatever i don't know <laughs> my, my maester amen i re i really he's a cool guy I'm not, you know what, Dario? I'll move you down one tier. I'll move you down one tier. We're good. We're good. Well, I'll move you down one tier. Maester Aemon, though.
I fuck with him. Let me not do that. He's A tier. He's A tier. I, I keep them both A tier. Cause like he he got no combat, but he's smart. He wise for his old age. He talking to people. Oh my gosh. But love is the death of duty. Sometimes like why? Are you, oh my gosh. You so you can't love anybody. Cause clearly, Sam can still do his duty while protecting Gilly. So. Clearly, it's not one or the other. I, I I could I could see a spectrum, but get out my ear with that, Amen. Oh my gosh! Sometimes love creates duty. Sometimes love is like, okay, well now I have a duty to protect. Just like Sam did with against the White Walker. Sometimes the the f the love causes the duty. I don't know, but it's like, man, shut up. <laughs> but he's a great guy, so all right, all right. that's kind of high though for being a great guy. Smart. He, they, they wanted to chop off John's head, and he stopped it. And he was, he was talking. So I, I'll even made here, whatever. Tommen seems like he got a good head on his shoulders. Not evil. Cool guy. Don't have a problem. With him. I'm going to move Maester down. I'm going uh, Maester aiming down. One tier. He's still B tier. He's still with, like, good company. I fuck with him. Tommen? I put, I put you uh, uh, C tier. Not mad at you. But if he actually smashes Marjorie, he might go... No, let me stop. Let me stop. That, hey, that shouldn't happen. I'm just saying. I'm just... <laughs> but, oh my gosh. Shireen. She got a good head on her shoulders. She's smart. I would put her here, but she taught she taught a grown man how to read. He's no longer saying niggas. I gotta respect it, bro. You going up to B tier, Shereen? Ali! Oh my gosh, Ali. I can't be mad at bro. He told them, dude, I'm a beast with the bow, and they were they wanted to laugh. It imagine from his perspective, like he he traumatized he, he he just moving people up and down the elevator. Sam told him to fight and he started fighting. That's crazy to me. I thought that nigga you want him to die? But I still stand by what I said because he ended up killing you. Great. Hold. Hold me. Fucking hate that. But from his perspective, he just saved John's life and he stood there cool as shit. I'm not going to lie. He's he's cool as hell when he did that. He's like, oh, I I'll save you, John. And he just stood there for a second. That shit so clean. He might go A tier. <laughs> he's a child and he just did that. And he survived the fight. Hopefully. I didn't see him at the very end, but I assume he survived it. And he hit that. Like, he saved. If Igrit was going to pull that arrow or let that arrow go, he just saved John's life, too. Like, but she wasn't going to do that. Come on, y'all. Stop. All right, so Kyber. I wasn't going to add him, but I feel like now that he's trying to bring uh, Gregor to life, back to life, or well, not back to life, but, you know, save him. I feel like he's gonna be around a, a lot longer. Yeah, he seems like a good guy, but he also he feels morally ambiguous. Like he don't give a fuck if it's the right or wrong thing. He just he does he he's just interested in the human body, and if he could be helpful to somebody, somebody he don't give a fuck <laughs> what they do with it. I don't know. He just don't give a fuck. But he's a very skillful maester. He knows a lot more than Pyso and fuck Pyso. I don't care. Nah, he got he he too morally ambiguous. I don't really mess with him that he's smart. But like, could other maesters have learned what he learned if they did the crazy experiments he did? I'll move you down here. And let, we'll see what you do. We'll see what you do. C tier is not bad. Don't get mad at me. I'll take your chain. Oh, they already did? Just stop talking to me. Gregor. I thought he was gonna get maxed. I thought he was gonna get maxed. I thought he was gonna. Oh wait, okay. So I, I I got a different picture. I think Gregor was at the bottom before. <sighs> Him killing Oberon, Oberon like that, Oberon. He he doesn't win that fight if Oberon is smart. <laughs> if Oberon didn't let that happen, but the fact that he punched all of Bro's teeth out in one punch and then squished his head like a melon, and the fact that he could have potentially like he was pretty much dead to right and uh he still didn't give up nobody 
he ain't a snitch but it's like why would you say like you already know you're probably dead right because as far as i know champion versus champion someone has to die right or can they just kneel can they just give up i don't know if they can just give up So, like, you don't really have a reason to snitch on anybody if you think you're going to die anyway, right? <sighs> He's a beast. But he doesn't strike me as smart. I don't like him. I don't, I don't fuck with what he's done. I don't think I'll fuck with what he'll do. But he big as hell. Honestly, I'm not even going to give him the props for being big as hell. Because even Sandor said, or was it in the histories and lore? I forget. But they mentioned he was like, yeah, he just has a gift for violence. Like he was, he, you could basically assume that he was born this way. <laughs> he was born just bigger than everybody and stronger than everybody. So should I be impressed? Because clearly he didn't have the combat ability. He got maxed out by uh, Oberyn. Sure, like, you know, Oberyn got taken off his feet a few times, but I mean, nigga, that. That nigga deadlifted a, t a half a ton. So it's like. That movie up a tier with Ramsey. Him, him and Ramsey, I feel about the same. Just, I don't I don't like them, but I got respect with it. Like, the, their ability, you know? Their ability. <laughs> Carl Tanner, same thing. I don't, I'm not even gonna, like, get into it. He's fucking insane, but he can fight. He's a piece of shit. Honestly, what he's done, no, he's mentally ill. And he was gonna, what the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> you got the combat ability, sir. Cause notice that everyone else here, I don't think have are special at all in terms of attributes. Cersei, Shay, White Rat, Pycelle, uh, Joffrey. I don't think any of them are special in ability, in combat ability, in intelligence, in any of that. And they're all pieces of shit. Carl Tanner, he has abilities, but what you were, he, what he was about to do with Mira in front of everybody, is it what, how he was, I can't, I cannot, I cannot get, put him above F minus, he's crazy, bro, granted, you can say that same thing about Ramsey, but I don't know, that's crazy, that, to do, and you can only imagine what he's done, but to, oh, no, nah, that nigga's crazy, that, he's twisted, I don't care, I, I He's F minus. Jano Slint. Oh my, this nigga sucks. <laughs> no abilities. Sure, he was a uh, leader of the King's Guard, but clearly he has no mental. Co so I'm just going to assume he's a Nepo baby. I'm just going to assume he was put into that position because of. He, he was he was always going to get that position. And then Tyrion uh, bitched him, you know, like, hey, yeah, go to the wall. So I, I forget exactly what he's done while he was King's Guard. Or leader of the King's King's Guard or whatever. <sighs> but I, I just remember not liking him then, and I don't like him now. And he was hiding. He okay. It's one thing to like fold under pressure when it comes to leadership, but to fold under pressure and like not even pick up a sword. The Ali that nigga sucks. F minus. Lock. He was locked in. He was doing his job. He's a fucked up piece of shit. But he has abilities but he got bodied by hold on <laughs> but i don't what do you do i i, I didn't i didn't expect him to drop his sword and not have his sword on hand he got his neck broken but he he was he was on that subterfuge shit but i don't fuck with him. the way he was what he was about to do to brienne but here's the thing here's the difference between a character like him and carl tanner carl tanner was about to do it in front of people in front of his, his, carl tanner was about to do it in front of her brother in front of a uh, brand in front of the simpleton and then it was gonna take turns that you know he was gonna do her in the dirtiest way oh my gosh at least with <laughs> at least with luck he was like take her into the uh bushes oh my gosh that's crazy and then he was gonna let the whole platoon oh that's crazy but like to at least do it in the bushes this is crazy this show is crazy to talk about bro and even though it was just jamie there you know what i mean it was just Jamie there. But that's crazy. This nigga's a piece of shit. But he got abilities. And he's not. I feel like he's not as fucked up as Carl Tanner, bro. I'll put him there. I almost put him high as fuck because just because he, when he was hanging out with John, he seemed like a cool guy. <laughs> but he was honestly. 
Why was he trying to capture Brandon instead of just kill him? Just to have him as captive, maybe? I don't know. But, uh... He could have definitely killed, like, Hodor or somebody. Like, you know, before uh, escaping with Bran. And then said, I'll kill the rest of your friends if you don't come with me. Or if you don't... If you make a noise or anything. Like. He's fucked up. But he ain't evil like Carl. I'll put him, I'll put him up here. No, I'm not. What the fuck am I talking about? There, I don't know. Why am I having y'all so low? Because I don't really fuck with y'all. That's what it is. I don't really fuck with y'all at all. So I'm not putting y'all C tier, right? Right, right, right. Anyway, Oberon. I can't believe he got bodied. I, like, I just don't know like how, how much to hold against him. Or if I should hold it against him that he got bodied the way he did. His leg was just a little too close. He got swiped. He got picked up. That dude's strong as shit. How mad can I? Like, I'm not expecting that. And he poisoned him. So, one slashing, you're, I guess you're kind of already assuming that he'll die. Because his, his staff was poisoned, right? That's why uh, Kyburn was trying to cure him or whatever, right? I could be wrong. They were using so many words. I was like, what the fuck are they talking about? I'm not going to lie. Even when I was editing, I didn't know exactly what was going on. Uh, except that Pycelle thought it was, you know, had to give up. And Kyburn didn't. I messed with him, though. I just can't believe he got maxed out the way he did. That's tough, though. Like, what do you do? He got a hold of you? A man that big get a hold of you? Oh, man. Punch you, all your teeth go out immediately? Oh, man. You were fucked. But I, I love you as a character. I, you were smart when you decided to challenge him. He just got to jump on you. Not to jump on you, but... He took his opportunity. But you had it in the bag. And you, you got emotional because your sister. Because you were thinking about your sister. What they and you wanted to get to the bottom of it. Oh man. And he does have the skills that he just I'll put him in A plus. I'll put him in A plus. Who the fuck is this? Oh, Celise. You suck. <laughs> uh Celise Baratheon. The queen. Or uh Man, Stannis don't fuck with you. I don't know, like, really his wife, but... And the way you talk to your daughter, you suck, bro. And you don't have any abilities of note, I feel like. Right? You don't seem that smart. I don't know. Ah, <sighs> You're not as fucked up as them, but you also don't have their abilities. So, you're an F tier as well. Shy... <sighs> Whatever, I'm not going to go through all this again, man. <laughs> Am I okay with this? <laughs> I think I'm okay with this. I'm looking at it. I think I'm okay with this, bro. Why is Sansa and B... Oh, yeah, because... Yeah, okay. All right. Whatever, I'm going I'm to leave it at this. I don't know. Depending on how this next season goes, I'm probably going to take a lot of people off. But this is my tier list for season four. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Keep your head up. Peace. I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, and I fear no evil because I'm blind to it all.